Hey, Silverfish here, and we're getting ready to get into these two boxes of dimes. Now, I know it's probably going to take the same amount of time to do a box of dimes as it does to do a box of half dollars, so I'm probably not going to get to both of them tonight, but I am going to start it and see what happens. No enders, as far as I can tell, um, but uh, this is something different, something new. I haven't actually ever searched dimes before. Um, so this will be interesting or very boring. One of the two. I've heard lots of bad things about searching dimes because there's not a whole lot to look for and there's not a whole lot of silver. So we'll see what happens and uh, I'll bring you back in when I find something good. Wish me luck. Hey everybody, I think we've actually found our first real find of the box. Come on, focus. Yeah. And we're like 23... <clears throat> 23 rolls in. 2009P. Pretty decent shape. Got a little smudge there on the top. Little pond scum. Not bad, though. We'll take it. First find. First real find. Um, right here I've got some... A uh, some, uh, little bit off-center nickel. Uh, the penny nickels, yeah. Penny, nickel, quarters, what are these? I can't remember. Are these halves? <laughs> a little bit off-center strikes. Nothing major. Just kind of putting them aside to see how many times that happens. Because it seems like it's pretty pretty prevalent. Um, right here I've got like two. Um, one's 2015, one's 2016. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's something weird going on with the date. And in God we trust on both of them. It's like a circular kind of thing going around the whole coin. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But I'll do some close-ups of that later on. And then I've got just a couple of weak strike around the edges. 85s. Thought those were kind of neat. I've got a gold toner so far. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but... It's a 2016, it's a little bit of a weak strike on the bottom there. A little bit. I'll show that one later. And my 2009. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and I'm uh, stacking up my 65 through 70s just to see where those are at. Because, you know, if you've got coins that go all the way back to 65, you might have some that go to before 65. So, we'll keep hunting. I'll bring you back when I find something else. Too, too awesome. I'm just watching uh, R R Rob Finds Treasure. He's finding silver in his coin rolls. I'm down to 20 rolls left. I think this is uh, roll number 30. And uh, we finally did it. 30 rolls in. 30 rolls in and we have a silver. I'm pretty sure that's not a foreign. All right. We're going to take a look at it. Oh my god. Holy crap. This is my first Merc Dime ever. Holy crap. 1942. Sweet. Oh my god. I finally have one. I was thinking about buying some Mercury Dimes on eBay, and I was like, you know what? I think I could probably find them. And I never get dimes at the bank. And this is amazing. Very first find in a dime box, and it's a 1942 Mercury Dime. Wow. And she's in pretty good shape. She's not bad. Wow. That is amazing. I would have thought that was a Roosevelt for sure. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm beside myself. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue the hunt, and I'll loop you back in when I find something else. Wow, look at that. I just found this dime. It's got a really, really weak strike. You see all the weirdness on that? In some angles, you can't even see the date. Pretty nifty. A little bit weak on the reverse as well. Up on the top there, just a tiny bit. But the front is 
Like when I hold it like that, you can't even see the date or really in God we, but that is pretty neat. It's there. It's just really weak. Cool. Two rolls later. Oh, you know what? I'm getting a better look at it now, and it's just a really wide clad copper. Oh, the copper's really thin. I thought this was going to be a silver. Oh, false alarm. We have our next find. Looky there. And it's in good shape. Thousand nine. Wow, that's in really good shape. Sweet, two two thousand nines of the box, and a Merc dime. I'll bring you back when I find something else. Very same roll, and we have got another two thousand nine. Philadelphia. Uh, all three P's. Alright, I'll bring you back when I find something else. Alright, we are on the fourth to last roll. And we found one more. 2009. I didn't think I was going to find any. And then, like, all of a sudden, after that Merc, it was like, boom, 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 boom. Number four. Four 2009s. Cool. Continue the hunt. Same roll. We're going to have number five, 2009, Philadelphia. All right. 509s. That's pretty sweet. And they've all been in really good shape. There's an 08. <laughs> Close. <laughs> In a 2012. Alright, I'll bring you back when I find something else in the last three rolls. But I still got another box. I'm not going to go through that tonight. It's almost... Alright, everybody. That's it. And that was uh, actually better than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, here we go with the finds. We had the star of the show right here. The 1942 Denver uh, Mercury Dime. Pretty awesome. Definitely the best thing I've found in a dime box because this is the first thing I found in a dime box <laughs> first dime hunt unreal very cool I got a bunch of toners here they're really cool and I think I'm gonna do something with this one because this is a uh, 1983 birth year for me and it's really cool like rainbow coppery I like it a lot it's pretty neat And, you know, just, you know, some toners. We had uh, 509s. All of them were Philadelphia. We had this guy that was so chewed up. I know my coin star, or my coin machine that I drop off coins at, at the bank, is not going to accept this. It's going to spit that out most rickety tick. But it's a 66. So maybe we'll put it in the 66 pile. Right there. Yeah. Then we had some uh, off center, slightly off center. This was probably the most off center right here. Let's see if I can get a good angle on them. So you can see the off centers. Yeah. Just a few off centers. And these guys were like just weird around the edges. Really soft, weak strikes around the edges. And these guys all, I noticed, uh, they're mostly like two, 2015, 2014, 2016, I think that's it. Uh, and they have like this ring in the middle. It's not the ring of death. It looks definitely like it was something that happened at the mint. It's not the ring of death. It's not like worn away or anything. It's just really kind of weak in a ring in the middle. I don't know. I'm going to check those out and see if there's anything to it, but hey, you cannot get mad at a 42 Merc. And I still have a whole other box of dimes. So I can't wait to get into that tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Please like, 
share, subscribe, and if you haven't already. And uh, I will talk at you later. Thanks for watching.